thousands of Liverpool dockers stage an unofficial strike against a new wage increase of 11 shillings a week agreed by their union. The docker today enjoys regular employment. Gone are the old days of casual labour. Now these men flaunt those who won them their security and bring busy Merseyside docks to a standstill. At a time when Britain needs the greatest effort from all, these ships lie idle, waiting for their cargoes. Many men to their credit are still working, but agitators want to bring out all dockers in the land. Speaking for organised labour, the General Secretary of the Transport and General Workers' Union, Mr Arthur Deakin, says... The unofficial docker strike is due to the reckless agitation of a group of saboteurs calling themselves the National Port Workers' Committee. The ten people causing the stoppage have no sense of responsibility. They are just a bunch of gamblers ready to mislead, then running away from the consequence of their action. I repeat, there is no justification for the stoppage or for a continuance of it. But at mass meetings, strikers are urged to stay out. It's hard to resist the glib promises of agitators. Money doesn't go far today. And because they didn't grow up with the unions like their fathers, they're easily swayed. The union succeeded because men gave them loyalty. Today, the thoughtless betray their leaders. Loyal to their men, the women stifle their worries. But to Britain, whose very life depends on a swift turnaround of her ships, the idle docks are near tragedy. 900 million pounds of imports and exports pass through Liverpool each year. Stand still at the docks could bring Britain to her knees. And that is what communism wants.